quarter of this class here. All right, sweet. Okay, so this video is going to show us how to make different levels. Um, I have our character here. So this is when he goes to different uh, doorway or scene. Okay, so I have my, my mobs. Uh, you guys can also see I added an ammo system. In my final game, I won't have this ammo system like this. So when I shoot, he has you know these many bullets. And when he runs out, he can't shoot anymore, right, until it refills. Um, I just put that counter there so I can see what it is. So there's my guy. He's walking around. And then so once he gets to these stairs, it's going to teleport him to the next level. Right, there's the next level. It's different, but it has the same spawn points for the snakes and for your sprite. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, I also put these trees here with walls so these snakes can come at me immediately. If I go up here, there's a door up here, right? It looks like I'm climbing up a, a wall here, but it's actually just 2D art. Um, you know, and then we can explore this level, but if you go up here, I go up this wall and I climb this ladder. I go to the next level here. You can also use this to go teleport back to levels. So for like our Zelda makers, um, you have to go back into the different parts of the map, right? So this will take me back to the second level. And here's the second level and the, and the enemies have been recreated. So it adds a little more fun to it. Um, you know, so your players aren't just going around in an empty world every time they recreate. So right now it's in a loop where I go back and forth between this, the third level and the second level, but you'll use this to teleport between different places. Okay, and obviously I just have three levels, but yours will be much cooler with different doors and different things. So let me show you guys how I made this here. Okay, let me do here blocks. All right, this is our old one here. Okay, so before we get started, we have to first, um, we have to first organize this correctly, okay? So we want to put our make characters and our make enemies into functions, okay? So functions are these, these things right here, right? So you click on it, you make a new function. The function is do something. Think about it as folders, right? Something you repeat and keep doing over again. So rather than rewriting it again, you just have to get your character, get your enemy, whatever it is. So you'll make it, you'll make a new function. Under your make character function, make sure you have, you must have the sprite, obviously, the command with move, place on this, the always the same um, spawn point. So all of my levels always have the same spawn point here. Okay? And then the camera always gonna fall. So this has to be in there. So on all of my levels, it always has the same spawn point. Okay. I'm gonna rename this as spawn enemies to spawn snakes. Okay, because if I have different enemies, then I can see that, okay, on start, I make the snakes. On next level, I'll make, you know, birds or something. Um, so we'll call it spawn snakes for now, because I might have different types of enemies. I know all the snakes are going to spawn on these things. So if I don't have any of these on these levels, and I do have spawn snakes, no, there's, there's no snakes going to be spawned. So make sure you have these things if you're going to have that type of enemy be spawned. Okay. So before you start, you must have functions set up for this work correctly. Also remember your call buttons, because if you don't put the calls in it, um, you know, if I take the call make character out of it and I play it, the character is not going to spawn. You know, nothing happens, right? So make sure that you um, have the, the, the character in there. Okay, so before we do that, next thing you need to do is uh, your, set your tile map on your first level. On your first levels, here's my first level. You need to have some sort of goal on the first level. So for me, it is over here. I made stairs way over here, okay? So see these little stairs? These are the stairs they first have to get to. You can make it like a trophy. You can draw your own tiles, right? Draw like a trophy or something. Um, the thing is, you can only use it once. So these, these stairs always go to the second level, right? Um, if you do something like stairs, you want to go to the third level, fourth level, you can't keep using the same stairs because your stairs can only go to one space, right? So if you're gonna do this, you might wanna have doors different colors. The red door always goes to the red room. The blue door always goes to the blue door. The green door always goes to the green room, right? Um, you can set up that way. But for me, I just pick stairs real quick because that's what I had, okay? So 
on your first one, set up a place to put your stairs. Next one, um, you must have your tile maps made, okay? So here's my second level for my tile map. And then here's my third level, okay? Um, I just made this function as a holder. You can just make them off into space and have them a nowhere's land. I just put them here so it's a holder. This function doesn't have a call on it. So it's just kind of sitting off into space in nowhere land. Um, okay, so now the most important part, scene. We go to scene and this is how we teleport to different rooms here. Sprite on kind of player overlaps at location. Okay, so when my sprite overlaps the stairs, I want him to go to the second level here. Okay, I also need to do scene, um, set my background color. I want it to be a night, a night level, so I'm gonna make this like a, a dark purple here. Um, tile map is set. Then I need to go to my functions, call my character, and call my snakes, okay? On my tile map, I made sure to keep the same spawn locations as my snakes and the same location for my dude, okay? Um, then the last thing you need to do is, um, do I wanna do it now? Let me have the door real quick for the next level. Uh, my tiles. Let's make this the door, this little glass window. So let's say he goes to this glass window and he teleports to the next level. Um, let me do this first. So I'm forgetting one thing. I, you have to destroy the sprite. I was gonna show you without doing it, but I wanna show it the right way first. So we have to destroy the sprite before we teleport. So what this is doing is you're making layers. So what's happening is, especially if your player is gonna go back to the same room, you have to destroy them in that room and then make a new room. If you don't destroy them, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go back to that room and you're gonna see your own self. And there's gonna be multiple characters in there. So it's kind of like a weird parallel universe type thing. So let me show what it looks like the right way and then I'll, we'll do it the wrong way real quick, okay? So we make sure you have this destroy sprite. I'll show you why it works in, in a moment here. Um, so let's test this code out real quick before I build anything too farther. So as I run, when I get to this, these stairs, it should teleport me to this next level. So let's just make sure that works. I turned off my, um, my health bar just so I can run through this for level real quick. Okay, all right, so there I teleported. Great, so now I'm gonna put the next gate up here. So when he gets to this thing, he teleports to the next level, okay? So we go to scene, find this thing again, find my window, put my new tile map there. And I'm basically just gonna duplicate everything here. Duplicate. Actually, I don't need snakes because I don't have any snake spawners on that. Um, destroy, set tile map, set character. I think that's it. Okay, so let's try it again. And actually on this tile map, I'm gonna put the stairs here so I can teleport back to the um, to the second level, right? So let's say this is the second level here. He's in space, but then he gets to these stairs. So this will always take him back to the second level. All right, let's try it again. All right. So my G will walk through, his feet aren't moving. I didn't keep his feet moving. He's kind of moonwalking right now. All right, so I'm gonna get to the second level with the stairs in a moment. Okay, so stairs, then there's these guys. I destroy them with my weapons. I go up and when I get to here, this will take me to the third level, ta-da. Now when I go here, it will take me back to the second level. There I am, okay? So now let me show you what happens if you don't have this destroy my sprite. I'm gonna get rid of it onto these levels. All right, so if I don't do that, I have points on Do I have points on this? I don't, oh, you do. So I put points on here too. You can also use points to um, teleport your guy using a logic function. I won't show you in this video, but um, it is possible. So I go to stairs and then I go to stairs up here. 
teleport to third level. And when I go back, you see this glitchiness? <laughs> I am in a parallel universe right now. So what happens is it keeps recreating the layers and it glitched out on me. So if you don't put in the destroy sprite, you're gonna have multiple sprites each time. Okay, so I'm just showing you why you need to do that. All right, so I'm gonna stop this video, but that is essentially what we need to do.